This is the first English song I've heard from this group so far. Brace yourself, because you're in for some good amount of noise. It is not an easy task to sing in tune. Without proper marketing, unfortunately, wouldn't make it. No way. I think it would be nice if the other members are also given their chance Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to watch another video of SB19, this time performing the song Love Goes Live in an event. But before we jump into it, I am inviting everyone to please follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. Likewise, please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, please check out the link above. By the way, a quick shout out to all the SB19 fans out there. Thank you for recommending these videos to me. I got this video from the channel Very Wang. So as usual, if you want to watch the original video without any interruptions, without my comments, please head to their channel. The link is found in my description box, so please check it out. Alright, let's start! Um, ito po Dance number. Can I just say that I love their looks in this video? Probably the best styling so far out of the three videos I've seen of them. They look very cool, very smart, and expensive. So in my humble opinion, they should keep this look. And of course, we have Ken here uh, starting the song with a strong voice, setting the mood of the entire song. Stell, as usual, showing us how effortless he sings. And it's crazy how he was able to deliver his verses with so much fluidity in his voice, yet he's giving us these snappy, snappy movements, which is almost a contradiction, but it works. And of course, Sejun showing us his rap skills. By the way, I am not a huge fan of raps, but I think the reason why I appreciate his way of rapping is not sure how to explain this, but, but there is something melodious in the way he raps. He is not just shouting out the words. I also noticed this in their Bakit Baikao video, but since I am not a rapper, I really do not know how else to dissect this for you. So let's move on. Okay, so I believe this is my first time to see Josh rap, so that makes two rappers uh, in the group. Now, wouldn't it be interesting if Josh and Sejun 
can both rap at the same time, uh, each using a different tone to create a different sound. But who knows? Maybe we'll get to see that later. I may be getting ahead of myself. To me, they are all great dancers. But in terms of facial expression, I think Justin is giving us the fiercest facial expression and the most consistent so far. The lightness of his voice, same with Stell's, is creating a nice, a nice contrast to the others' heavier voices. Again, I hope I'm getting all their names correctly, but I think I am. So let's continue to play the video. Whoever did the choreography, you are darn good. Even the way they changed uh, their formations in order to ensure uh, that the next solo singer is noticed. Excellent. The choreographer obviously has great respect uh, for the people watching. Let's continue. Okay, so Justin raps as well. Question to my Max Tubers out there. Do all of them rap? Please comment down below. So this is the first English song I've heard from this group so far. And I think they sound very foreign. They have very good diction. And I particularly love um, the way Ken sang uh, the words, no way. A lot of character in that delivery. Let's jump back. Please don't tell me this is another original song composed by Sejun. Cause if it is, gosh, he is good. Real good. And if it's another person who composed this song, you are good. It's very catchy. It sounds modern, but not too outrageous if you get what I mean. Because there are a lot of modern songs out there that I really cannot appreciate. For they sound more like noise than music to me. But this one is good. When they first introduced this as EDM or electronic dance music, I was thinking to myself, brace yourself because you're in for some good amount of noise. Because being the old dude that I am, that's my impression on EDM. But I'm glad it doesn't sound noisy to me at all. It's actually a good, solid, upbeat song. Very nice melody, great tempo, 
and blending of voices. I dare say that listening to this, I feel like it has such a massive potential to be a classic in the future. They just have to market it right. Because without proper marketing, unfortunately, even the greatest song wouldn't make it. I'm telling you guys, it is not an easy task to sing in tune, to move in sync, to harmonize, and to remember which parts you should go in, etc. I've done it before in shows, but they're killing it. They definitely underwent a huge amount of training to be able to do all of these. Let's continue. Wow, that was a great song. In terms of vocals, there's nothing bad to say. I think they all did great. In terms of their moves, I also think they did amazing. Although I'm not a professional dancer, so I'm not the perfect person to judge them in this aspect. So maybe the dancers out there uh, who are watching this video can throw in their two cents worth down at the comment section. I noticed in this video uh, and also in the Hanggang Sa Huli video uh, that the only person delivering the spiels is the leader, Sejun. While I understand that he is the leader of the group, I think it would be nice if the other members are also given their chance to speak because this would endear them to the audience even more. They can perhaps banter back and forth. I don't know. And I think by training them, actually each of them, to deliver spiels, they will be even more well-rounded. But of course, I could be wrong since I've only seen three of their videos. So maybe in the other videos that I have yet to see, the other members were able to speak. So far, I'm loving the three videos I've seen of them. Bakit ba ikaw? Hanggang sa huli? And of course now, Love Goes. So how about you guys? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. At the same time, please feel free to share your thoughts down at the comment section. Remember to keep your comments respectful. We can always choose to agree or disagree but we always have to remember to respect each other's points of view. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxTube. Stay safe and healthy everyone. God bless us all.